Welcome to the roast portion of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, my son, Chris. Born on the highway, because that is where most accidents happen. Hey, da. But we're here to talk about Brian getting another year older. You know, I hear he can't even bury a bone these days without Viagra. And they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. But I heard Brian just learned how to roll over and beg for an erection. Peter, I'm fine. Are you sure this isn't about you not being able to perform on your anniversary? I told you that in confidence! And a one, two, three. Uh oh. My fart's stuck in the pants. Well, get it out. We've got a show to do. <coughs> Happy Halloween, Meg. Wow, Mayor West, that's some costume. Well, thank you kindly. It a me, Borat. You know, from that picture Borat. You ever seen it? Yeah, that movie came out like 15 years ago. Well, I'd never heard of it. But it was just about the funniest thing I'd ever seen. Anyway, have a good evening. My wife! Dr. Hartman, you said there was very little risk to LASIK, but now I am blind. How did this happen? Okay, look, this isn't my fault. It was take your cat to work day. <coughs> hey, skinny legs, here I come. Good morning. Are you ready to sweat? I woke up sweating. Okay, let's climb this hill. I want to impress you, but also see if I can peek down your sports bra. Ugh. Ow! 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 My balls! Oh, the other ones. Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Did you hear that? I think Peter hurt his balls. I didn't hear anything. Hmm, must have been at a frequency only dogs can hear. And you know what's right around the corner? The strip club where they spit in your face? No, the dog park. Yeah, how do you like how this sounds, huh? Try cleaning up this mess while you burn in hell. Peter, you ready to go? Almost. But what do you mean you don't like that? Just try it, maybe you will. I'm stuck up here. Better use my emergency flare. We've got a flare. I'm still stuck, but now I have confidence. Men, tonight you will have one last night of peace. I won't lie to you. A hotel guest has no regard for your life. That means some of you will not be coming back. Those who do will never be one color again. Now, here are your assignments. Anderson, your late night vomit. Russo, you'll be in the ladies' room. Ooh. All right, knock it off. At ease. Edwards, you're going to be folded into a monkey at the foot of the bed and then Ooh. on. Look at Edwards. He's into it. Ooh. At ease. Oh, also, you can have my penis enlarging machine. It's in my closet. Ah, did you look? Will you, will you text me if you looked? Like the fat man when he plays Clue. Okay, the murderer was, don't care with a, this game sucks in the, I regret having children. Clue, you got someone pregnant nine years ago, so now you have to play this. Oh, you can do it, Stewie, for sure. Free your foot, and together we will bump wieners. But it's stuck, Norwegian mid-level model girlfriend. Oh, just untie your shoe is how. Oh, duh. Stewie, when will you free me from this thought bubble hell? Not for a while. I may need you if I run for office. Happy Halloween, kids! Happy Halloween! Look, it's Matt Foley from Saturday Night Live! I don't know who that is. I just came from a meeting at work. Oh, good, Peter, you're home. You can help me pass out candy. Sorry, Lois, I have to go do a dangerous speedball and become the least surprising death in Hollywood history. Mm -hmm. What the hell? <laughs> You're not taking this from me, bitch. <laughs> Suck it, Vaughn. I hope that mascara burns your eyes out. How's that cheap wine headache? Uh -huh. Go roll and dirt, you pig. Your hair dye stinks. Tell, Tell your, your daughter, daughter to stop, stop watching me change. Peter, go cut her power. Hey. Hey. Perhaps Slytherin, or maybe...
maybe Hufflepuff. Uh, or trans women aren't really women. Wait, what? I mean, uh, the first two things. OK, who's the next girl or boy? There's only those two. You're going to hate me, but I really need to take this. Don't you dare. But it might be Bruce Lee finally calling to admit that I'm the best at Kung Fu. This is your one chance, Stewie. I will not call you a second time. Damn it! I'm sick of being one-upped by Doug. Hurts. Hurts worse than a trip to the barber shop. Ah! Ah! This is what babies think happens at haircuts! Peter, tell me it wasn't you. Honestly, Lois, I have no idea. My brain can't even think thoughts no more because of the internet. Ah, oh, that's it. From now on, you are an outside, Peter. Go on, get outside. <laughs> Go to your Peter house. Go to your Peter house. Okay, that's one drywall bit, one masonry bit, one spur point bit, one tile bit, one drill with a hammer action setting, one wire detector, one stud finder, and one grease pencil. Sounds like someone's drilling a hole in the wall to watch girls shower. Oh, big time. Did you pull a permit? City Hall's next. Nice. What the hell? Peter, what the hell is that? It's my new pitching machine, Lois. And look, it can turn our car into a silly tank. Watch me nail Cleveland. <laughs> I got one too, bitch. Peter, what are you doing? Well, you know how you told me to give up the 80s and find a whole different decade to be into? No, that's not what well, I... Well, I'm doing the 1920s. Not because of legal cocaine, but mostly because of legal cocaine. Time to design a very stupid flying contraption. Cocaine plane! What's your problem? Why are you being such a jerk to me? My problem with you? Let's see, where do I begin? You accept food, clothing, and shelter, yet no responsibilities. You constantly want to sleep with my wife, who is an angel. Oh, and the hypocrisy! You claim to be an ally to women, but I bet you don't even know Nancy Pelosi's official title. Sure I do. She's, uh, Chuck Schumer's secretary. Forget it, Brian. Now, can you strap me to this milking table? My wife will be home soon. I thought things would go back to normal after we traded underwear yesterday.